Hello everyone. In this video, we're focusing on site-to-site -site VPN between 48 and checkpoint. So I'm explaining here what is the scenario. Uh, so basically we have um, 48 here and the checkpoint. So uh, checkpoint IP address, I think the last octet is 39 and uh, the 40 gate is 41. So they are connected together. And here we have 192.168.1.0 slash 24 range. And the other side is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. <laughs> so this is like our scenario for side to side VPN between um for the gate and checkpoint so you go first to here side to side vpn i'm just putting this one here to know that what i'm doing between two sides make sure that uh side to side vpn is um this feature is on allow traffic to remote side by default and like that and here under vpn side it's you add um here your sign name so my sign i'm here on checkpoint so my site name is 40 gate 40 gate so what is the ip address of 40 gate you see that 142232197411 right so that's 40 gate is it behind the nat so if you have a router here then it's going to be behind that uh so if you have a host name, you can put the host name also here. Pre-share key, I put the pre-share key uh, <clears throat> between these two. Um, if you have a certificate, you can add the certificate. Uh, remote encryption. So here, what is, I'm here actually on the checkpoint. What is my remote site? 192.168.10. So I'm going to add here the network of 192.168.10, 0 slash 24. Oh, sorry. Uh, the subnet should be 255.255.255.0. So that's your network of 40 gate, right? I apply it here. So, so far we have configured this part. So here we have some option it's saying that route all traffic through this site, define remote uh, topology manually, encrypt that routing table or hide uh, hidden behind the external IP address of the remote site. Um, so I'm using this manually. That means I, I put the IP address. Uh, there's some default encryption for phase one, phase two here, like triple this. Uh, you can customize this one. Um, and make sure this one, enable perfect forward secrecy. That's enabled for Diffie Hellman. Um, so I enable this one also. Uh, so if you want to customize it, you can have a custom and it's let's say you want to say okay uh, i use aes 28 for this part authentication i'm gonna use md5 and then group defi hellman for example 14 for phase one and if you want to phase two also you use aes 128 md5 and you can put this one as group two or group four. I'm, I'm going to put this one as a group two. <clears throat> uh, so under advanced, we have also remote gateway is checkpoint security gateway. No, it's not a uh, checkpoint. Disable NAT for this side. So uh, enable permanent VPN tunnel. So we have this part, I think this part is okay. So you know the encryption method, you can use the IK version one, IK version two, I use IK version one. Uh, enable aggressive, if you wanna use aggressive, you can enable that part. 
And yeah, this this is part of your configuration for uh checkpoint. It's gonna test, but you haven't done the second part, which is this part. So I'm removing this uh, network and just keep in mind your network is 192.168.10 slash checkpoint. So I'm logging to my forty gate. So here for for the gate, uh, we are going under VPN. Uh, so we resort so that's side to side VPN. I can use a custom at this part. Um, uh, so like that's for checkpoint. And next, um, so remote gateway IP address. So checkpoint IP address, which is. 142232197.39 is going through which interface is through port one actually. Port one is connected to this. This is port one, this one is port two. Uh now traversal is enabled. And here we have some options for this part. So I'm not touching this part. Uh Pre-share key, I put the pre-share key for that one, the same as checkpoint. I gave a version one main. So here phase one. So I use uh, so I remove this part. AS128, I use MD5. And for this part, I think I believe I use uh, group the 14. Let me check here. Um so I use yeah, group the 14. And um, so your local, your local is here, right? So it is one nine two one six eight ten zero slash twenty four, and your remote side is one nine two one six eight one zero slash twenty four. So which is remote side, and here under advanced, you have phase two. So I'm removing this profiles here so this one is okay and then we are using md5 and uh, you see that enable perfect forward uh, or pfs uh, perfect uh, forward secrecy so that one is enabled also you see that here we are using as128 and md5 uh, so what is the group defilement? Group defilement two. So I'm using group defilement two here. And then click OK. So basically, uh, let me now remove this one. So if I want to bring up this tunnel, oh, I forgot to add one thing here. So that one is the policy that you need for firewall policy. So you need to add least two policy. Uh, from port two to port one because port two is your local. So I'm allowing port two uh, to my tunnel actually. I made a mistake here, it should be tunnel. Yeah, port two to tunnel. So any traffic uh, is allowed. So also I'm gonna disable the NAT here because that's side to side VPN. And for reverse direction, I can copy this one and paste it below like that. So this time from tunnel to port two. Uh, so that's tunnel to port two. all of these options and then enable this policy. The last step is adding your static route, uh, which is going to your tunnel. So basically all the traffic goes to the tunnel. And now let's come back to here. 
uh, try one more time to see that. Do we have a connectivity? You see that? Now it's tunnel of and um, if you even look at your a VPN tunnel, you see that your tunnel here is active. So that's the way we can create a site-to-site -site VPN between FortiGate and Checkpoint. I hope this has been informative for you guys and thanks for watching.